Yes, sir. Please come. I, I, I. Okay. <coughs> Thank you, sir. You had no difficulty in coming to this place? No, sir. Hmm? Suryakan. Suryankita. Suryankita Sahu. First time or second time? Second time. Second time. Ah, second mm. time, yes. <laughs> yeah. Correct. Mm. Suryankita. Today, the Honorable Prime Minister uh, had come to our state, isn't it? Sir. He has left? Yes, sir. Hmm? sir. Has he left? Oh, uh, no, sir. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> Okay. So, what is the significance of this Subhadra scheme, Surya Ankita? Sir, uh, it is the scheme. Mm. Uh, for the financial development of uh, state of governments of the state Odisha, mm. and uh, it will uh, it will provide a, a significant uh, it will play a significant role in the upliftment mm. of the state of women in the state. Sir. Mm. But what is the negative or uh, negative side of this 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 scheme? If there is a uh, if you are talking about pros and cons. What can be the contra viewpoint, contrary viewpoint? Sir, uh, it is given to the working women, sir, working age women, mm. 21 to 60. Mm. Sir, direct benefit transfer is the mode. Uh, it, it is the mode of transfer of payments. Sir, I think it it uh, they can provide money in the basis of uh, like for the skill development or upliftment their education uh, uh. or anything like. To develop their uh, develop their skills. It should be linked to a kind of a purposeful, Purpose. productive, yes, sir. productive, in your productive uh, constructive way. Yes. But here, money is given fine and nothing. No, but it is not linked to any kind of a creative or creative. productive or learning. learning. Uh, that's a good. That's a good thing about it. And uh, and. Public administration, when you see what is happening in West Bengal right now, isn't it? The, our former law minister, Kapil Sibal, in his last uh, Supreme Court session, and in his submissions he said, My Lord, the institutions are getting destroyed. The institutions are getting destroyed. You are a student of public administration, isn't it? So, when he made the submission before the Honorable Supreme Court in the R.G. Kara Medical College incident, what are, the, what are the public institutions he had in mind? There is a hospital there, there are doctors there, yes. there are police department is there, isn't it? CBA when it comes, the central government police as an institution is also involved there. Yes. And uh, High Court is involved, High Court of West Bengal and Supreme Court of India. These are all institutions and systems, subsystems of governance, public administration, isn't it? Yes. So, if you take uh, your, uh, your Bangladesh, for instance, where the entire system of governance failed, people, the mob took to the uh, street and in a sense drove the government out, so to say. Okay, in that light, now what is happening in West Bengal and Kolkata as a student of public administration? By when the people are losing faith in the institutions, yes, isn't it? It is a kind of a situation is developing where 
the mob seems to be dictating the public seems to be dictating taking taking things into their own, their own hands because public administration means certain things are governed by certain institutions investigation has to be done by the police mujhe bol liye and the courts they have to adjudge whatever is investigated this kind of a clear delineation and separation of power seems to be destroyed and the credibility of the institution seems to be lost is it right so what do you think of this by i want you to think analytically critically of what is happening there point of view every institution has some rules and they uh, they have concerned with some work or some duties they have to work uh, they have to perform their duty uh, in a transparent way or as they as they can work sir when the, the justice delivery or their uh, which the work they are concerned they are not doing their work properly or they, they are not delivering their duties properly then uh, as a developing countries we the youth youths the basically the youths and in that situation the doctors they are very civilized they know the rules and regulations of every institution when they are not getting proper uh, justice from the uh, from government or police or from any type of uh, any type of uh, role concerned that's why they are losing faith from the institutions and uh, they protesting uh, state wide and they wanted they their sole uh, wish is to get justice sir that's why they are uh, when the government uh, the government uh, said that it, it just a suicide uh, and they are not they they were not allowed their parents to see their uh, see the victim so them that's why they the the faith of the mob get this there they got distracted okay okay let us take it uh, here so so surya angita let us take because let us break it down let us break it down okay why do you think that people are uh, they don't have faith in these institutions why they have lost it take west bengal it's okay take it as a unit they have lost faith in the the medical administration hospital administration they have lost faith in the state police okay we will leave aside the supreme court for the time being in a way they are also losing faith there yes. so why do you think it is happening there sir in the west bengal case particularly hmm. sir uh, sir the only uh, only thing is that they are not properly uh, properly delivering the justice mm. and the they they uh, the time limit the time limit they are given to the they given to the protester that they will make a make a clear justice by some date and they are not uh, they are not uh, give the justice up to that day that's why so maybe that's the reason for the protester to Mm-hmm. but they have arrested the one uh, one fellow there is they have arrested a fellow very promptly the very same night the abaya abaya died on 9th august yes, sir. the very same night they went and arrested a fellow sanjay roy yes, sir. he confessed he admitted to his crime yes, and then they forwarded uh, him very promptly to the court So sir, the the post mortem report hmm. is the main thing hmm. sir hmm. Uh, in the post mortem report it is clearly mentioned that it will, it will be a gang rape sir hmm. so the semen count hmm. and the multiple injuries in the body cannot be done by a single person sir hmm. that's for the okay then fine and that is why having no faith in the state police the high court of west bengal they ordered a cbi cbi came into the picture and after cbi came into the picture also they confirmed yes sanjay roy is the accused and he is the only accused even then the agitation continued because the cbi also knows that post mortem is like this these are the injuries 
but they also came to the same conclusion sanjay roy is the but we are not satisfied that means we have no faith in the cbi also Sir. the my the point i am driving at is institution after institution if the public are losing faith yes. in the public administration and in the overall scheme of governance there is a danger of mobocracy and dhaka is very close by what happened as they say dhaka sneezes calcutta catches cold as somebody put it this are all these are all very very dangerous signs yes very very dangerous signs and now if we can bring the supreme court into picture seeing all these things just to arrest the 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 the, the drift in the situation the supreme court suvamotu came into the picture and said don't worry we are looking into the matter and they are periodically hearing the case and the cba is submitting the progress of the case in a sealed envelope to the supreme court that means supreme court which is the highest body of criminal justice administration itself he seized of the matter has and is monitoring the case and even then mind you even then the agitation is not uh, did not stop the supreme court also put a deadline there even then it continued sir rg kors medical rg um, kors rg kors hospitals history of uh, history is not clear sir actually mm-hmm. sir uh, sir in the past there there had been several suicide cases and it, there is a history of uh, organ uh, organ shelling mm-hmm. sir sir maybe that's the may, only reason mm. they are not satisfying with the justice sir and uh, And no the, anyway, the now let us okay now for uh, instead of taking more time so let us reflect upon the points of discussion the points of discussion are whatever be the facts when the institutions of administration and governance when they lose their credibility before the public then it is a dangerous situation for administration governance and ultimately democracy, democracy. that is that is a point we have to be seized up so we leave it there uh, 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 surya ankita now one final question from me so when you enter into the service what are the what are the strengths that you bring into the with you your unique strengths sir you have been watching cricket writing odia poems writing for an odia weekly magazine odisha swara include them also so what are the what are your strengths of the personality of surya ankita sir i am a i am a very optimistic person sir very good sir uh, i uh. always take the uh, take anything positively Mm. sir i never panic in any situation mm. and uh, i believe i am a disciplined girl i am a disciplined girl huh? Disci- i disciplined Discipline. girl i mm. can deliver my uh, work properly mm. and i am very down to earth person sir my, i can connect to everyone very quickly sir these are my strong points sir. very good sir okay sri ankita <coughs> can you tell us something about what is eco tourism and why we want to promote eco tourism so eco tourism in the prom- promoting tourism to to travel and tourism industry uh, with uh, unite the environmental uh, environmental uh, sir so prom- not harming the environment what is it for what is it for please sir so eco tourism kale sir tourist tourism sector ko develop kariba saito सर एनवायरमेंट के एमती हार्म न होबो एवं ता सहित जो सब जगह को भी हमें प्रमोट कर चंदी से जगह रो से जगह रो नेचर को केमती हमें को सेफ कर परबा फॉरेस्ट को सर खराब न करबा कि से जगह रो जहां भी नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस अछि से सब को हमें हार्म न करके भी टूरिज्म इंडस्ट्री को डेवलप कर परबा व्हाई वी आर लुकिंग फॉर दिस व्हाई वी आर लुकिंग फॉर दिस सर लाइक लास्ट लास्ट टिकेट से सब सर बहुत सर जमती कि फॉरेस्ट फायर्स है सर 
आउ बहुत गुडे टूरिज्म प्लेस बहुत पॉल्यूशन हो ची प्लास्टिक प्लास्टिक गार्बेजेस बॉडी बॉडी चली ची एवं से जगह रे फॉरेस्ट फायर्स रो केसेस भी जिम जिस सिमले पड़े हैला क्या कोरा पुट्टो कितना जगह हैला सर ओडिसा रे बॉडी कुलाली तो सेट पे से माने माने टूरिज्म इंडस्ट्री को डेवलप Sir, do you have any model experimentation on ecotourism? Sir, hey, Chimote. Promoted by a government? Sir, Gondhumardhan Hills uh, Development Authority ecotourism ko develop Kortle Karana Sejagar. Gondhumardhan Hills is known for Ayurvedic medicine, sir. So, the Gondhumardhan Hills ko Lokamani Bulioko Jautila City Ayurvedic plants from plant population Komutila Vali, sir, Seta Pute, case studies, sir. See that that is something different, but ecotourism promotion career by we have started developing ecotourist spots oh, sir. Sir. and developing tourist infrastructure in those areas to promote ecotourism. Sir, then we are going to talk about how many establishments. Full body is what is no body. Sir, daring body. Daring body. Sir, Mohindra Giri Devi sir. Yes, sir. Do you know about this? No, sir. I am going to know Mohindra Giri Devi. Okay. Hmm. <coughs> and the there are many Understood. places where even in Bhuvaneswar, surrounding Bhuvaneswar also we have Understood. eco tourist spots. And so, Jodhya Bhattikar is also there, sir. And um, Dera's Dam is also there. Jodhya Bhattikar is not like that. Jodhya Bhattikar is also there, Chandka. Chandka is also there, Sanchuel is also there. There are some tourist infrastructure. Yes, sir. Blue flag beach in sir. the beaches of India and across the country at different places. Sir. Puri Rai is blue flag beach, then sir? Sir, blue flag certified. Golden mm. beach, sir. Golden beach, see blue flag beach, see golden beach. Thank you. Sejakala, they are the initiatives of the ecotourism. Co -co the small initiatives of the ecotourism. Yes. Non-file advices. Yes. That's why I go to the promote college. I go to question because I will go to, uh, what do you mean by rural development? Rural development. Rural development. The rural development means upliftment of rural areas and the standard of uh, upliftment of the standard of living of the people of rural areas and their education and their sanitation, healthcare facilities providing in that region and uh, how they they will be uh, um, they will be uh, uh, they will be uh, engage themselves in economic development work and skill development, sir. They are okay. the rural development activities. Then there is what is rural development? Sir. And is there any similar kind of model pilot projects run by the government for rural development? Sir, Monrega scheme. Now many of these schemes are aiming towards rural development. Then mm -hmm. That is also there. Sir. Monrega is one of them. Mm -hmm. and that is meant for livelihood generation. Livelihood generation. So in the rural development process, there are several components of <coughs> development. NRLM scheme is there. Sir. Social development, economic development, livelihood development, then educational, then educational development, health sector development. Like this, there are several sectors. Because all these sectors are converging at the rural okay. area. Hmm. So rural development has to take a dimension on all these fronts. But do you believe that uh, instead of believing rural areas, if we improve the urban areas, things may be easier in our development process. But once upon a time we thought that probably decentralization of the amenities and facilities created at urban centers can be more economical in bringing upliftment rather than creating infrastructure in the rural areas. Means we believe in promoting further urbanism. Sir, sir, uh, in India, as a developing country, 60% of the population living in rural areas, sir. Sir, we cannot say that uh, upliftment of urban area also is the main priority. We can give more priority to the urban areas development. Sir, as rural areas, most of the population belong to rural areas. My logic is, rural people are no more interested in rural areas. They are trying to come to urban areas. Sir. Our in, urban area has already an infrastructure. So, improving little more infrastructure is cost effective. Mm -hmm. It is manageable. Mm -hmm. 
and all our facilities have been located in the urban areas. So ultimately, the ultimate goal of the rural people is to come to Qatar for medical college or for Bhuvaneswar for any other medical colleges. So whatever you can go for any medical service that you develop in the rural areas, will they will again look back to the urban areas only. So sustainable development of urban areas can be promoted more than the rural development. This is what is a psychology that comes up. Sir, they are coming only when they are not getting the opportunities or then when they are not getting the facilities of rural areas in the urban areas. Urban areas in the rural areas. They are not getting that up to that mark of facilities in rural areas. So the healthcare facilities is low. Modern hospitals, modern healthcare system so is not there. So you cannot institute a AC medical college in rural areas. Every rural area cannot go with the AC medical college. So that means for the medical college students again, they have to come from rural to urban. Sir, we cannot say coming to SCB medical college is. That is one example. Like for any of the services, sir. So for any product and purchase, sir. Everything cannot be available in rural areas. So ultimately, they have to come for urban areas for marketing. Sir. When it comes to a marriage, comes to a function. Come to some other guy. You suppose you are ornament shops. Cannot go to the rural areas. They have to make income. So like this for all kind of super specialty services that we are providing. Urban area is the place of location and ultimately rural people has to come. So the initial development has to be now focusing more on urban areas can bring more development than rural areas. Is if it is a logic then is it okay? Sir, uh, urbanization is also in news. Sir, so, um, it means the urban facilities are given in the rural areas, and the rural, rural urban fringe, that is a transition zone between rural areas and the urban areas. When that that place, every urban facilities are given to the rural pe rural people in the transition zone of the urban and rural areas. Sir, so we cannot say properly. Uh, we can only focus on the rural areas or the urban areas or urbanization to fulfill our all facilities, sir. So we can say urban areas can be developed or a transition zone can be developed to uh, to provide any uh, any type of uh, facilities which can we which can we uh, get in the urban area. So we cannot say properly urbanization is the only solution. So we can. We can consider no, our no, no. Here the argument should be towards we have super special facilities coming up in the urban areas, yes. but it is not going at a very big, it is going with a very big cost of pollution, pollution. very big cost, cost of population concentration, very big cost of Congestion, development of congestion and some slums, Trump. very big problem of traffic, and many other things are likely to also come up. It's not that the things which are glittering are gold, all that. So the logic has to look from that angle. And moreover, areas which are underdeveloped need to be also developed. We cannot leave it for all time to come as underdeveloped and only develop the islands. So logic has to go like this. Last question for you. May happen monsoon is related to this El Nino phenomena. Do you have any answer to this? What is El Nino and why it is related to monsoon? Sir, El Nino means sir, the heating of Pacific, heating of Pacific Ocean's upper layer of temperature, sir, it will, uh, it will discourage the Indian monsoon because Indian Ocean Dipole go, goes in a negative way and it hit the uh, Peru, Chile coast which is a desert area and the low pressure zone shifted to that place, that's the Indian Ocean region uh, get less amount of rainfall and Peru, Chile coast can get the maximum amount of rainfall. Elino, in Elino years, Indian, Indian subcontinent gets little amount of rainfall and drive to the drought. Is it only, only India is affected or across the globe, all sir, the countries are affected? Sir, uh, all the uh, maximum, sir, uh, uh, so a tropical and subtropical region like Australia, Australia also affected, sir. And uh, uh, so southern part, of, uh, middle part of South, South Africa, South America also. So initially, it was uh, thought that probably it is into the great extent affecting the Southeast Asian region. Southeast. But now, slowly, it is getting established that it is uh, affecting across the globe. Oh. And mostly in the tropical and subtropical zone. Okay.
ਵੈਰੀ ਗੁੱਡ ਸੂਰਿਆਂ ਕੀਤਾ ਕਮੇਟੀ ਆਪਣਾ ਫੀਲ ਕਰ ਚੰਦੀ ਆਫਟਰ ਦੀ ਸੈਕਿੰਡ ਬੋਕ ਸਰ ਸਰ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ ਹੋ ਜੀ ਕਿ ਮੋਰ ਸਰ ਪੀਜੀ ਦਾ ਪਬਲਿਕ ਐਡਮਿਨਿਸਟ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਰੇ ਹਮ ਉਹ ਮੋਰ ਪਬਲਿਕ ਐਡਮਿਨਿਸਟ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਮੋਰ ਆਪਸ਼ਨਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਪਸ਼ਨਲ ਜੀਓਗ੍ਰਾਫੀ ਹੈ ਮਤਲਬ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਸਿੰਧੂ ਸਿੰਧੂ ਬੋਰਡ ਤੇ ਲਿਮਿਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਰੱਖਾ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਰ ਸਹੀ ਚੋਇਸ ਹੈ ਬਿਨ ਗਿਵਨ ਟੂ ਚੂਜ਼ ਅ ਸਬਜੈਕਟ ਸਰ ਮੋਰ ਪਬਲਿਕ ਐਡਮਿਨਿਸਟ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ 28 ਟੂ ਛੱਡ ਦੀਜੀਏ ਸਰ ਹਮ ਸਰ ਮੋਰ ਸੇ ਤੇ ਪਈ ਟਿਕ ਵੈਲ ਪ੍ਰਪੇਅਰਡ ਨੋ ਪਬਰਡ ਪਈ ਹਮ ਹਮ ਜਿਤ ਕੀ ਜੀਓਗ੍ਰਾਫੀ ਪੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਰੱਖੇ ਬੇ ਚ ਆਪਣਾ ਹੋਰ ਇੰਟਰਵਿਊ ਸਰ 29th ਆਫ ਸੈਪਟੈਂਬਰ ਹਾਂ ਕਿਚ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਿਗ ਵਨਸ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਸਟੱਡੀ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਡੈਪਥ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਨਾਟ ਫਰਗੇਟ ਇਟ ਜਸਟ ਬ੍ਰਸ਼ ਅਪ ਡੋਨਟ ਡੋਨਟ ਵਰੀ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਬਿਲ ਗੇ ਜਸਟ ਬ੍ਰਸ਼ ਅਪ ਔਨ ਥੈਟ ਇਨ ਜਸਟ ਇਨ ਕੇਸ ਦੇ ਆਸਕ ਯੂ ਦੈਟ ਐਂਡ ਕਨਸੈਪਚੁਅਲੀ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਐਕਸਲੈਂਟ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਸ਼ੋਰ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਆਨਸਰ ਦੀ ਫੰਡਾਮੈਂਟਲ ਫੈਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਯਸ ਯੂ ਮੈਨ ਨਾਟ ਰੈਂਬਰ on facts if we do not uh, remember recall immediately say sir sorry sir i i am not able to i'll just look it up conceptually you are brilliant to the actual question is asking one question or calling sir sir au mane sir saadi a color of saadi ke light color of saadi se prefer kare sir to to take a light color saadi that makes you little more smarter okay sir Hmm. That no, I have more... I have no problem. So, so, <laughs> <laughs> so it makes you more smart. Uh, so uh, how actually pacharili mor sanga jo mane last year bhi interview apply karte the. Uh, uh, but one thing you must remember sorry that sir. and then uh, perceptions and uh, tastes also differ. But sir because he is more experienced sir. go with his advice mm-hmm. but uh, it appears to be okay. okay. Sara ka point it will be better. better. better, better. ठीक है लाइट सर ये फॉल लाइक वो यू विल लुक स्मार्ट सर स्मार्टर ओके ओके सो व्हिच न्यूज़पेपर नॉर्मल एक कलर साड़ी जाके ठीक है ओल्ड एज ठीक है मिडिल एज लोग जेजमा का साड़ी नहीं इवन ऑल कलर साड़ीज गो विद द लाइट ओल्डर जनरेशन नॉर्मल इदर टू यंग और टू ओल्ड दे गो फॉर कलर्स and uh, which newspaper you are reading uh, surya angita samaj is it odia re samaj paruchi english re actors me newspaper follow karani phone re dekhi de news ah ne okay but if you can get hindu and read the, uh, the center page articles open it and all very good articles are coming asian games final ko ke gale akhir ho jaye the two teams uh, for final player sir mo last match hockey mm. india aur pakistan ba dikhteli sa mo tike aaj je jani jani ni sir now china and india are playing ah, for the ah, final sir <laughs> <laughs> no one india pakistan it is china and india <laughs> last match india pakistan ra thila se ta no hmm. idea thila sir then the thing interesting i said uh, today there is a news and the forest men of india visited orissa forest the forest men of india person who is known as the forest men of india uh, he is a padma shri awardi okay. and he has visited orissa to sir janne anko naam unni and addressing some people at some occasions so dekhite bitike jake hmm ta na hala jyada molai sir oi modi ji modi sir anko super question nahi nahi he came for some organization some ngos uh, uh, workshop or for the okay, pro- training program from like that okay. he is a simple a normal person, normal person but he could able to bring plantation for about 300 acres of land oh. in majuli island of brahmaputra river valley majuli island okay. inspired by uh, very often there are floods sir and brahmaputra river is flooded flooded after the flood has gone he saw on the river bed lot of snakes of different varieties are lying dead on the sand bed of the river yes. and many other species that actually made him panic yes. and thought that probably because of this there is no shade and there is nothing like that so in the river after the flood is gone this environment is totally not conducive for the life of this uh, creatures so keeping that in view we started planting bamboo trees oh, okay. which can survive well in that environment oh, okay. and slowly 
By planting every year uh, like this, for even 10 years, he created a huge forest of about 300 acres and out of that, uh, it acted as a rescue for the Assam government. Because the Assam government was not a problem, it was a problem, it was a problem, and it has been a crisis for them. And once it happened so, and they started, uh, what has happened that where then these elephants have gone? Actually, these elephants have gone into that island and they are staying there in Sir. that forest, <laughs> which has been a secluded place for them. Mm -hmm. Really an inspiring story. And he was given Padma Sri. Mm -hmm. How old? Uh, after that, he was uh, he was invited by Jalan University in a convocation to address the students. Mm -hmm. No, no, naturally. Sir, it is a Mm -hmm. so there are many, uh, there may be many. Mm -hmm. He is one among them, but he is uh, known as the forest man of India, he has been named. Good, so do you think how can you Sir, I have a fact, geography is a fact. Hmm, okay, so that you have to say that you have to mineral resources, mining areas, mining problems. Important ports, okay. hmm. okay. important uh, tribal communities across the state, PBTGs. Yes. So, I have more hobbies related to writing audio poems. Last time, I wrote an audio poem. Last time, I wrote an audio poem. I wrote an audio poem. Okay, okay. What did you say? I wrote an audio poem. What do you have written? You have written? Can you recite? हाँ सर 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 I mean, real mode is not that good a story telling, but I can't do it because of it, no? Yeah, that is, yes, that will impact you and that will define your personality also. Okay, very good, Suri Angita, I think you have asked all the questions, you are now satisfied, you will do very well. Wonderful personality, have no fears. God bless you, Suryangita. Thank you, sir. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you.